Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Crix EverDrive GBX3. Let's get started. If you're unfamiliar with the Crix EverDrive GB, essentially what it does is let you play Game Boy ROMs on your Game Boy. No need to cart around a bunch of different cartridges. You can just put them all on a micro SD card and use this little device right here. Crix makes a bunch of different products for a bunch of different systems. For example, N64, Super Nintendo, regular Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Sega Genesis, and so on. There are also different versions of the EverDrive GB. So I have the X3, which is the base version. Now, obviously, if you would like even more features than just the base X3, you have to spend a little bit more. The X5 is the next step up, all the way up to the X7. Now, the X7 is over double the price of the X3, but you get all the goodies. So it has Game Genie codes built in, just like the X3, but it also has things like no reboot saves, save states, and a real-time clock. Now these are available on places like Amazon or at Stone Age Gamer. Stone Age Gamer lets you customize these a little bit. You can see with the X3 right here, you have the base option, which looks a little different than mine. Mine is the Crix version. Uh, there's also the smoke color, the pitch black, and the really cool ultraviolet. So to set everything up, you will need a micro SD card. The EverDrive GB runs from a micro SD that you plug into the very top. So I have an old SD card lying around. This is a Toshiba. It's a four gigabyte class four. So it's not even very fast, but uh, it will work hopefully for this. I don't think it's gonna be an issue. To connect it to my computer, I'm using an Anchor micro SD and SD card reader. I'll leave a link to this in the description below. So I've got everything connected into my computer. I want to download the software that I will need to work with this. So I'll head over into downloads and find the EverDrive GB, which is right here. So I'll click that. This is an X3, so I will need the X series. Go into OS and download the latest version, which is version 1.03, which was 2018 612. So actually pretty recently, this is June 12, 2018. Now, once you've downloaded the file, make sure to extract it to the micro SD card. The Game Boy EverDrive will not work with zipped files. So your ROMs, everything has to be unzipped. The first thing that you do need to do is put the system files on the micro SD card. And you can see it right here as GBC sys. Inside that file, you should see gbcos.bin. This next step is completely optional, but highly recommended. And that's to create folders to help categorize your games. You can do any categories you would like by genre, by game series, whatever you feel like. I've just done two folders here, Game Boy and Game Boy Color. And the games that I'm gonna be testing out in Game Boy, I'm gonna be testing out Link's Awakening, Pokemon Blue, and Super Mario Land 2. In the Game Boy Color folder, I'm going to be checking out Link's Awakening DX, as well as Street Fighter Alpha Warrior's Dreams. So I'm testing this out on three devices, the Game Boy, the Game Boy Color, and the Game Boy Advance SP. Now I chose the SP over the regular Game Boy Advance for one specific reason, and you'll find out later on in the video. All right, so first up, I do have the original Game Boy. The Game Boy EverDrive is right here. The micro SD card that I just programmed is inserted in the proper slot. So I'll plug it into my Game Boy, flip it over and turn it on. So you can see the Nintendo logo as opposed to just the garbled when the game doesn't load properly. So that's a good sign. It's booted into the Crix menu here. You can see the two folders, Game Boy and Game Boy Color. So let's open the Game Boy folder and select a game. Right now, I'll just select Legend of Zelda. Looks like everything's booting up okay. It shows the Nintendo logo again. So just not to confuse you. Everything should be okay. Everything does look okay. Here is Link's Awakening. Here is the intro screen. Everything seems to be looking just right. So the game looks right. Everything looks right here. I'll turn it off and let's check out a different game. Okay, let's try out a Game Boy Color game to see if I can play a Game Boy Color game on this system. I don't think I can. Uh, this is Street Fighter that only works on the Game Boy Color. So let's try booting this up. Maybe we can boot this up. This is very interesting. No, no, we can't. Okay, so this is Street Fighter Alpha. You can see 
This game is specifically designed for Game Boy Color. Please use a Game Boy Color unit to play the game. So next up, we will try a Game Boy Color unit and see how everything goes. So here's the Game Boy Color. Here's the EverDrive. Let's put that in and try it out. Turning this on doesn't work. Let's try again. Second time's a charm. All right. So with the Game Boy Color, I've noticed that it does take a couple boot ups to get this working properly. I'll go into the Game Boy folder, check out Pokemon here, see if this works. It should work. I, I wouldn't see it not. And it looks like it's booting up okay. So everything looks good so far. We'll check out the colors here because it should have a blue tinge to it. It does. Okay, perfect. So I didn't change anything. I booted it up. Everything looks right. Let's go ahead and try out The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. So this is the Game Boy Color version. And it should hopefully be okay. I wouldn't see any reason why this shouldn't work, but uh, we'll find out. The colors look right. Everything looks right. And it's booting up just normal. So this also looks absolutely fine. Lastly, we have Pokemon on the Game Boy Advance. So the reason I showed you the Game Boy Advance SP, this one specifically is because of how the Crix saves. So if you are to try to save the game regularly, uh, it won't save. So you can save the, the ROM basically in game and that's no problem when you're doing it. But if you are to reboot the Crix for any reason whatsoever, you will lose your save game. There's a trick to saving your game here. And unfortunately, it's part of the X3 package. So if you are willing to spend a few more dollars and get the X7, for example, you will not have to do this just the way I have to do it on the X3. So to save a game here, it's interesting. So first and foremost, you do have to save the game as it would normally save. If your game uses a password system, this will not work. So Pokemon, for example, you can save. Now you have to squeeze the cartridge and it's a lot easier to do on the SP as opposed to the regular Game Boy Advance or the regular Game Boy Color or the Game Boy. I find the Game Boy Advance is SP specifically is considerably easier. So you squeeze it, it resets the game after you save and then that actually saves your game. So you can see as soon as I boot up Pokemon here, it should automatically let me continue. Now you can see I have the continue option, so it's successfully saved. And to prove this, let's eject the game. We'll turn the SP off now. We'll take out the Crix game and we'll put in the EverDrive into the standard Game Boy Color and boot that up. It should have the game saved as well. So we'll try it out. So obviously first time doesn't work. Second time also doesn't work. Third time's a charm, all right. So now it should boot up into the Crix menu and we should be able to see the save. So we'll go to Pokemon, we'll select it, load it up, and fingers crossed, everything should be okay. So I'll hit start. It should show me continue and new game. Yes, it does. Okay, so perfect. So it did save. You can see the right name is there for my player everything is okay so that's how you save it i find it a lot easier to do uh, using the actual game boy advance sp you do have to squeeze the cartridge on the uh, game boy and game boy color the exact same way you would do it on the game boy advance sp all right so that about does it for the crix everdrive gbx3 if you liked the video leave a like if you didn't like the video leave a like hit that subscribe button check out my other videos thank you everyone take care